Right, it's Monday, May the 16th, and we're here to check on progress once more. Uh, so we had a crew from the um, drywallers, mutters and tapers in, and this is what we saw when we came in the front door. Uh, so they've got the corners up on the drywall. And they're starting to mud it in, finishing off the uh, mudding up until the height that they can reach without going to stilts, etc. And same thing for the hallway. And you can hear that they've got blowers going so that they can dry the materials as much as possible. It looks like, Trish, they're pretty close to finishing in here. Just have to do the corners again. Was that sorry? Yeah, just the corners, the, the corners all the way around need to be finished. But other than that, Oh, and, and the, the screw heads. Okay. Yep. And let's just go... This is the same. So I think it's probably all, all about the same. Where's the screw heads then? It's yeah. still the corners again. What? The, the corners are not finished yet. So there's another layer that has to go over top of this and will be about this wide by the time they're finished. Wow. And that's all the corners so all the way around. Here. Yeah. But the nail, uh, the, sorry, the screw heads are all completely covered over. Um, just to bring you up to date as to what's going on. So we've got a deadline by the university to get all the electronics out of the office that I've been storing them in uh, because the uh, Faculty of Education is moving from uh, one building to another building and uh, that means that we have to have this office complete uh, with the door and all the trim etc by the 27th of May so that's next week Friday um, so we're moving towards that particular goal it's getting there and then the laundry room is at the same stage. So, oh no, okay. There's some tape that is not finished yet. So this one. The corners. That's basically where they're at. And the corner there has been done, but from the top. Rather than the bottom up. I don't understand <laughs> this process, but... Did you notice this, Trish? They did the top cor of the corner here, but not the bottom. Interesting. Okay, no changes in there. I'm going upstairs briefly. There's a pair of stilts. That one of the mutters puts on. Oh, this has not been finished yet. Nail heads have been finished. Okay, looking at, so the corners, they've just tacked the corners in, but they have not mudded them. So the seams on the ceiling have been finished, but not the cross seams, so they're just the big ones. ones on the far wall are not finished yet. The 
back wall is basically done. That was done on Friday. Yeah, but there are pieces on the side wall that are not finished. And that seam there is still open. Oh, the same, same deal in the kitchen wall. The bottom seam is finished, but not the corners or the tops <coughs> as we move it along. Interesting. Well, the corners aren't finished here right, either, the inside corners. Nor there, same thing. And in the master bedroom. Nothing changed. Oh, the top seam has been <coughs> finished oh. in this one. And that one. And this one. <coughs> but the rest of them need to have a couple. And the edging is here, just as, as it was downstairs. Or no, yeah, sorry, it's right here. Too. Oh, uh, yeah. In the bathroom. Yeah, I don't understand why they leave this kind of thing. They know they can sand it off. Well, yeah, but it means that you have to sand it off when yeah. it's so easy when it's just uh, wet mud to just to scrape it off. This is at the same extent that it was before as well. So by my estimation, Two more days. No, not Friday. Two more days. And we'll see where we go from here. Oh, here's here's the box of corners. So this is the tape that they're using in the inside corners. Much more uh, substantive than the uh, tape that they use on straight, straight uh, seams. And then they have to finish this piece yet as well, which is not going to take much. Pulling all those screws out, putting the drywall in, and then taping it but it's taped from start to finish. And here as well, they haven't done any taping, Trish, here yet. No. So obviously that's all part of the last, the last day or two. Okay, it was just a quick uh, update. So we're going to get out of here. It's a very rainy day. Um, it's not raining right now, but uh, it has been all afternoon and it's kind of cool. Talk to you soon. So we had a crew first thing this morning and they removed the scaffolding uh, from both in front here. So there was a, a scaffold going all the way up to the roof and that is all taken apart and sitting here now. And these pieces of plywood that you see here, as well as these two by sixes, two by eights, two by sixes, um, were being used as scaffolding across the uh, the stairway upstairs. So we'll have to see exactly what they were able to accomplish when those are taken away. And I think right off the bat, I can already see that uh, drywall has been placed into that opening. Uh, hasn't been finished yet, but uh, we're moving in that direction. So the corners are still at the same point that they were yesterday. Um, the corners here, the outside corners, 
So I was just talking about the inside corners there. The outside corners, uh, for instance this one, is now complete in terms of first mud, uh, not final mud. You can see that it's still kind of rough in these areas. Another one here, again, as I mentioned yesterday, seems to me that it would be easier to actually just finish those off and then you'd have less to sand. But I guess they, maybe they like sanding, I don't know. Here's another one, uh, another long strip. And here's an edge of the tape that uh, will need to be covered over one more time. All right, let's go through, see the rest. Uh, again, all of the inside corners are at the same point that they were yesterday, uh, but looks like they have been finishing the last coat on most other things. So all the, the screw heads are done here, except for the inside corners. This room seems to be finished as well. The hallway, inside corners again. Oh, that's kind of ugly up there, but uh, I don't know if you can see the, um, I think it's just a, an accumulation of mud. More here. Again, those unusual angles have not been filled in, so there's one there. And except for the inside corners, all the way around, this office is complete. And here, Same deal. Looks like they've had a fairly good day in terms of finishing most things off. I think that you're just hearing wind causing the plastic over the windows to make a little bit of noise. All right, let's go upstairs, see what's happened here. Oh, I can already see, so this section was not finished yesterday already, but now they've put in the uh, metal on the corner, on the outside corner, and it's done here as well. So they put the drywall in place. That's all complete now but the mudding has yet to occur in those areas. Let me see if I can slip by. Scaffolding. Okay, nothing much has changed here except for this top piece on the wall. The angle there is still not complete, nor the angles up there, except that that piece, as we saw yesterday, was already done. But that one at the top of the, the uh, pantry and the little uh, grandkids section up there is not complete either. And I think that's probably what I'm going to see on this side as well. All right, so again, that angle is not complete, nor is the one at the top of the ceiling, but everything else, except for the outside corner, so there, 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 need final coats yet. Oh, only half of the, uh, the corner here, and this one doesn't even have the metal yet. Here's the metal here, not on the inside, no metal yet. 
with the middle corner here. Oop, it is done. Okay, let's see what's going on in the bathroom. Again, those weird angles, that one and that one are not complete. And this one, and that one. Uh, and the inside angles, they need to be finished yet. But otherwise, everything is done. And finally, in the master bedroom, it's the same deal. So the non 40 90 degree angles up there are not uh, complete yet, but everything else is. It's looking pretty good, actually. Another day, maybe two. There's a different pair of stilts from what I showed you yesterday. And here they're using a makeshift scaffold rather than the one that they had earlier. Because all they need to do now is to reach this section here to fill in the, the taping and muddy. All right, so I'm going to get out of this area. See if I can do it without causing any more damage to myself or to the house. <laughs> Interesting. The tape there is not finished either. Or up there. So the entire stairway needs some delicate touching it. And they've got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes left. Hopefully that's enough to complete things. All right, so I think that'll be it to wrap tonight up. Uh, I think I'll put this one together with uh, tomorrow's yet, uh, so you get a comprehensive kind of uh, picture. And then Thursday and Friday I'll probably be at the university uh, packing up office and other materials. Anyways, uh, talk to you soon.